What's up everyone? Karu here from My Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And today, uh, actually, wait a second. Aha, much better. I got My Tennis HQ merch now. It's actually pretty dope. Um, we set up a new merch store. Uh, if you wanna help the channel, I, we love putting out the content for you guys, but we also you know, wouldn't mind making a, make a few bucks uh, off this YouTube channel. It's a really cool uh, project that we've had and we love that we're growing a lot. Uh, so if you support the channel, if you like us and you want to pick up a hoodie, hats, we got a bunch of stuff. It's actually really cool stuff. Like the hat, I love the hat. It's actually really nice. Uh, the shirt fits really well. We got hoodies. Hoodies. And hoodies. So they're really cool. Um, if you want to pick one, one up for yourself, for your friend, for your girlfriend, for whoever. Um, we got the link below, uh, we really appreciate it. But on to today's video, uh, I got to play a couple sets with top 100 player uh, Steve Johnson, probably the best college player of all time, uh, great professional career so far. Uh, went out and played a couple sets, uh, got to film it, uh, court level, I know you guys lo love that. And to be honest, probably not our best performance, both of us, it was windy, it wasn't great out there. Um, it's hard to you know time the ball. But went out, played a couple of sets, it was really fun. Uh, so I'm going to do the usual thing I do in those this sorts of practice where I would just put the video, uh, put the match play in there and do do a little bit of uh, commentary, uh, things that you've got to look for, look for, even though it wasn't, again, the best set sets we've ever played. There's certain things that we can always learn from it. And just in general, it's, you know, some, you're not you're not going to play your best all the time but you know you, at least you can see uh what you need to work on and for me you know there are cer certain things that um immediately jumped out of this today's practice that you know i i need to work on today. all right so starting here um just gonna be two full sets i'm not gonna spoil the scores but it was a it was a fun practice again you know, as you guys can probably hear it on the video it's a bit windy and so, you know, the play wasn't the best. It was a little gusty out there, swirly as well. So we didn't really know where the wind was coming from. But overall, I thought that we, you know, we were able to play a solid couple sets. And I would just step in when I feel like I should. And the main thing, I, there's one main thing I want to talk about that I will discuss throughout the couple sets. Uh, probably after the first, uh, let's first enjoy this passing shot and the rest of the match. First slice, keeping it deep, so he couldn't attack it. Next ball. Sometimes you got to think a little bit ahead to hit a good ball. Depth is gonna save save you. There, that middle middle of the court ball. Instead of choosing to go too big, I chose to open up the court a little bit with the back and you know, sort of trying to set up the next ball, forcing air. Serving first ball, this textbook top 100 tennis. Great serve. Thank you. 
great point. went for it, I was expecting that kick serve, wanted to take my chances, I missed by a little bit, but you know, used the right shot. Sort of a theme of this first set for me. I thought I had to do more than I needed to do, especially on my forehand side. I've been working some things on my forehand. And I was kind of going for a little bit too much sometimes. And it's okay, uh, especially to train, but um, I definitely felt like I was after. You know, I looked into this this, fo this footage. I was like, I was going for too much, too many, too often. I didn't really need to sort of work the point a little bit better, set up better shots. Example, what I just said, just staying in the point a little bit longer. I need to go for so much here. In the middle of the court shot, going for too much. I don't need to do that. Well struck, I missed by a little bit, but well struck. 
Oh yeah, the great sort of it's hitting the spots of camera pretty much. That slice low, you gotta really go for too much there, so you have to try to come up with ways to send it, return to the sender that will there. Mistakes, rather easy mistakes. Ah. Four, just like that. <clears throat> You're playing people above your level like that. You have to tighten up those mistakes. Go well inside the court. You give them anything. Yes, be offensive. Go for your shots, but. Four mistakes in one Fuck. game is not gonna do. Just like that, set, the set goes away, right? It's sort of tight, you have some break points. I'm sure that happens to you guys. Have some break points, you think you can get in control of the match, and then you play one bad game. They get a little bit loose, looser, and boom, you're down 5 2. But not yet, still 4 2. First ball, I definitely found my feet there. That was just bad touch. Oof, to 
Save the set point. Serve. All right, staying alive. Three five. Or five three. Serving for it. This was working well today. Gotta use that more often. No, such a bad mistake. It's love thirty. Those are the moments. Those are the moments you have to be solid. Well in play, not just give silly second serve mistakes. Play the scoreboard to your favor. Make sure you keep adding pressure. And the tennis is a game. There you go. Second serve. So finally get the break. A lot of break points. Seconds that break. There you go. lesson here is like sometimes a stroke's gonna be off and you're gonna have to figure out a way to win points and that's what I did today um, you know, I to sort of work with not a great forehand all day and still be able to still able to make the match competitive that's something amateurs need to understand you're rarely ever going to be fully dialed in you're gonna have bad days and you're gonna have to be okay with that and to find a way to work play the game, to win the game. A little more patient here instead of going for 
crazy shots, putting more balls on the court. Tricky conditions with the wind, so it was a little smarter right now. Sometimes when you're playing someone that you, you know, it's, you believe it's better than you, that has a higher level than you, all that stuff, um, the tendency is to think that you have to do too much, that you have to go for crazy shots all the time and oh be God. way too Wait, out of your so comfort stupid. zone because you have to hit the ball so much better to beat that person. Or sometimes just you know playing your game and showing that you can compete, that you can keep the ball on the court, that you can move, that you're not going to be scared by the difference in level. Um, is already a great mental edge that at least will allow me to stay in the match uh, compared to just like, oh, I have to get in there and just hit winners because this guy's so much better, the girl is so much better than me. Um, stay calm, yeah. just play your game, take the points, construct the points a little bit better, and you're going to be okay. I think that's sort of the lesson I wanted to, to tell you guys. Um, but especially a match like this. I mean, it's just a practice set. So way more patient here, just keeping the ball on the court instead of just going for broke too much. I think that's something that anyone at any level can, can learn. Because you play someone that is a bit better and you think, like, oh my god. To play the best match of my life to just be competitive. No, no, you can probably just play a good match to be competitive. Doesn't mean you're gonna win, but you might be able to. There's a good shot. You might be able to make it harder than you expect it to be. Yeah. guys had fun. Hope you guys took some lessons away from this match. Let's get back to the to my apartment. So this is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks Stevie for, for an invitation to practice. I always like going out and competing against the best of the best. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
uh, it really helps the channel and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet like i said in the beginning of the video we got a new merch store um so if you want to pick up something for yourself or for someone uh, that you care about we got some cool stuff in in the link down below also if you buy something from tennis warehouse or amazon we got links below as well that help the channel and no cost to you uh, we really appreciate that um, and i'll see you guys on the next one